So one of the best things you can do in a relationship when you're learning to communicate and communicating is getting feedback. What is your partner experiencing when you communicate to them? Are they actually receiving what you're saying? So many of us react and we trigger our partner. And when you trigger your partner, your partner shuts down emotionally. When they shut down emotionally, they're not listening to anything you're saying. I mean, you're talking, they're hearing, but they're not listening. They're not internalizing. They are not thinking about what you said. They're only using statements for ammunition purposes. The drawbridge of the emotions goes up and they are on defense. So when you're trying to get a point across, the goal is to get your point across. You want to know how your partner experiences you. When you react emotionally, get upset and say you never understand me. That's why I don't like talking to about these things and go on and on and on. What you do is you have put your partner in a position of odds. They are now against you. Counterproductive to what you want. So what do we do? We listen. We listen to their feedback. And most importantly, we do not do things to trigger them. We do not call them names like selfish, inconsiderate narcissist all of these statements that we say to our partner triggers them triggers them in a negative way and they shut down and they stop listening to what you're saying so strategy rational thought says let me share in a way that they understand let me share in a way that they can receive what i'm saying so that is why we often want to know what is it that our partner is experiencing with how we communicate? If your partner or spouse is constantly telling you they don't like your tone, if they're telling you they don't like the way you use words, the way you demean them, the way you speak to them, all those things, you must listen and make adjustments. Because when you make adjustments and your partner is able to understand what you're feeling, that's when you start experiencing what I call close emotional relationships. Meaning, emotionally, your partner is drawn toward you because they feel like they're hurt. No one goes into a relationship to be isolated. No one goes into a relationship only to suffer alone. We go into a relationship because subconsciously, ideally, we want to relive our childhood. We want that person who is now our partner or our spouse to love us unconditionally, to hear us in our pain, to hear us in our frustration. And when that doesn't happen, emotionally, your partner pulls away. So learning to listen to your partner's experience is one of the best things you can do for your relationship because that is when your partner is able to hear whatever you're dealing with.